Last night, we covered what was going on in the English Channel. We'd uh, made comment that the day before, the number who'd crossed the Channel this year had gone through 20,000 with almost no media coverage whatsoever. Yesterday, we sat here and speculated that we thought on that day alone, as many as 800 could have crossed the English Channel. What is remarkable, 24 hours on, is we still have no official figures from the Home Office as to how many people crossed the English Channel yesterday. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what they've got to hide. There were certainly, on the French side, some real problems uh, and helicopters being scrambled. Uh, one person died, one is still missing. There was a ferry that had to help out. Uh, one of the dinghies that was in trouble and perhaps sinking. But I've also commented consistently through this crisis that the Royal National Lifeboat Institute is being used in ways that its donors don't give it money for. Yes, it's there to save lives. And if people are genuinely in trouble, then there's no question the lifeboats in Kent will go. But it's not for our lifeboats to effectively become an arm of border force. And I've argued this passionately here over the last few months and had some fair kickback from the RNLI head office down in Poole. But I keep on saying this is unsustainable. And yesterday, yesterday saw the Ramsgate, the Dover and the Dungeness lifeboats and between them going out 16 or 17 times yesterday from the early hours of the morning right into darkness. And I received this message last night from somebody who works as part of a lifeboat crew in Kent. And have a listen to what he has to say. Hello, Nigel. As I write this, the Dungeness and Dover lifeboats are out on migrant shouts and have been out since this morning. Currently, there is only one border force vessel seeker in mid-channel. In Dover, other border force vessels, Hunter, Speedwell and Hurricane, are in the dock. So why are they tucked up inside Dover whilst the lifeboats are being tasked instead? Apart from previously hearing about it being too rough for Border Force to go, the other excuses servicing are we are out of hours and not enough staff. I honestly now believe that the RNLI is being taken for a ride and think it's an absolute mickey take. We are willing to drop everything and run at all hours, whereas it seems Border Force are content to pick and choose. The Coast Guard now seem to task us without even considering, and you can tell this man is upset because he calls it border farce. Rather than give even more money to Macron and his cronies, put it to good use, make the Border Force do what it's actually supposed to do, and let the RNLI go back to doing proper rescues and stop treating volunteer crews for granted. And that is said with much, much passion by somebody who feels uh, upset, uh, indeed disenchanted, with a volunteer service that he's given so much of his time and his love and his devotion to. And it's a very, very sad state this wonderful institution is being put into because Border Force simply haven't got the resources to do the job. And I am all on the side of the lifeboats and the lifeboat crews. But I'm not, not going to sit here and allow them to become effectively a taxi service working on behalf of Border Force and ironically on behalf of those criminal gangs without saying something.